Thank you, Bill, for all those nice words. I'm just glad to be here. I wasn't supposed to be here tonight, and I called Charlie and said, I'm going to come anyway. And uh, my wife said, why do you like to go down there so bad? I said, it makes me feel young Amen. when I get among my friends. But it's a pleasure to be here tonight, and I hope you'll enjoy our singing. And, you know, somebody said, boy, I got an email. I'm high tech now. I got a computer in my office. The boys have to come over and get the emails off because I don't know how to work it. But I got an email from a lady in California who was so upset. She said, I've been watching you for years when you come out here and you always have a piano player. I'm upset that you don't have one. Well, she didn't know that I had one that stuck with me. 
Last year, I lost three people at one time. Now, when you're a quartet, it's not easy. But the Lord is faithful, and he gave me the best group I've ever had on the stage, and they're here tonight. And I want to do this. Talking about piano players, I didn't lose one. I gained one. I want you to listen to this young man just play just like I like it. I want you to listen. Dustin Sweatman. Thank you very much. You know, uh, I like this combination because I'm not hung in the past, but I do like songs that were great songs back when, you know, and, and I've had groups that could do it, but they didn't want to do it, so I didn't make them do it because it wouldn't have been good. They didn't want to be there. But these groups, they like them. And it, it, we just recorded an album with just piano and bass guitar. It was a dream of mine for 10 or 15 years. And... Uh, if I must say so myself, it's fantastic. It is. Let me do one song. Keep your word of smile. There was a song I said, you can help me pick out the songs, fellow, but there's one song I'm going to do. When I was a young boy, back in, back in, Ro <laughs> back in Raleigh, North Carolina, we had a 50,000-watt AM station. And back when I was a young boy, all the groups like the Stamps and the Blackwoods and all of them would come through there and they'd sing on that radio station. And every time I could, my dad would take me down and I'd listen to him. And I loved it. But there's one group I fell in love with at that time called the Blackwood Brothers because they always had that old gruff sounding bass singer with them. Always had one. And I said, if I ever grow up and get gruff, I'm going to do that theme song. Because they used to come on the radio with this song here. Give me a key. Someone's weary mind. Do you greet the world as song as you like to pass along, cheering those who you may meet along the way? Give the world a smile each day. A bright smile every day. Helping someone along the way. On my way. From the past of the same bring the wonders into the master for you. Whatever you say, help to cheer the lone and sad. The lone and sad. Help to make some pilgrims. Sometime in our church services, mostly on a Thursday night, I'll have a request time after the offering's been taken. I want to give them plenty of time for that. And uh, then we come back and have some fun. And most of the time, I'll start on my right, you know. And one night was in East Texas, and I started on my right, and they clicked off four or five songs. I was proud of the guy. I got over here on my left, and there was a lady in the second row. Wasn't an older person, young lady. Wanted to hear a song called He Bore It All. I said, where in the world did that come from? I hadn't heard of that song in years. And they stumped us that night. I couldn't do it because we didn't know it. 
Two weeks later, we were doing the same thing and had the same request. Very unusual. Got home on a Tuesday morning, and I was opening my mail, and that was a letter from a dear friend of mine who's been following the Dixon Melody Boys for years and years. She's now in a nursing home there in town, and she always writes us a little note and tells some nice things about how she enjoyed the Dixon Melody Boys. And right at the end of the letter, she said, You know, there's a song my dad used to sing to me when I was a little young lady. And guess what it was? He bore it all. I said, Fellas, we got no choice. We recorded it just like this. Savior's suffer pain and agony, he bore it all, bore it all. that I might live. He broke the bonds of sin and set the captive free, he bore it all, that I might live. His presence may be bore it all, Jesus bore it all, I might see the shining, shining face, he bore it all, he bore it all. that I might live. I with him might live, I stood to stand him dead to die, but Jesus freely died. Son of God, he bore it all, and I, 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 his presence lay, he bore it Jesus all, all, I might see his shining, shining face, he bore it all, he bore it all, I, 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 I with him might live, I stood to strength and do to die, but Jesus really died, he bore it all, and I, 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 his presence lay, he bore it all, I might see his shining, shining face, he bore it all, Thank you so much. Let me introduce, especially this new guy here. Charlie told me to do one more song. This guy here came from East Texas. What a blessing he's been to the group. He's even killed. You know, he don't, he don't cause me no, no stress and ulcers. In fact, he tries to help me all he can. And he's moved in with me. He's got an apartment in town, but he stays at my house all the time. Because my wife fell in love with him, too. And he likes home-cooked food, you know. But he's a fine young man from Tenor Hall, Texas, Mr. Andrew King. Would you make Andrew go? And this young man, this young man here was with me last year, and there's been a lot of changes on him since last year. He's still losing weight. He's lost 118 pounds so far. And I think he looks good. And uh, he's Mr. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I'm not going to do it, okay? Thank you. Thank you. You shut up, Raven. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, 
Mr. Dan Keaton, make Dan welcome. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Oh, hold on. My name is Ed O'Neill. Yeah, it is. It, since we were here last year, I've sung with as many gospel singers you can imagine, traveled up and down the road with everybody. No one treat me any better or any finer, and I'm glad to be a part of this group. Last year, October 14th, Mr. Ed O'Neill inducted into the Southern Gospel Music Hall of Fame. Let him know you love him, Mr. Ed O'Neill. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was the biggest surprise of my life, because to be honest with you, from my heart, I never thought, never even crossed my mind that I'd be mentioned in the same breath as my heroes that I almost worshipped when I was a young boy, like James Blackwood. We got to be real good friends the last 10 years of his life. He wrote me notes, you know, and sent me his books, and we just fellowshiped a lot. And uh, all my heroes who have gone on, you know. And then when he called me one day and told me I was going to be inducted in the Hall of Fame, I thought it was a joke. I was in the house by myself. I answered the phone said, I want to be the first to tell you you're going to be inducted in the Hall of Fame up in Dollarwood October 14th. And when he said that, my mind just went crazy. And I said something stupid. I said, you mean in the living category? That's what he said. Charlie said, well, if you live to October 14th, yes. And I said, what's the criteria for being in the Hall of Fame? He said, just get old. So I made it. Amen. But Mo Moses listened to tonight. and I spoke to him in the hall a while ago, and he'll never know. Last year was not my best year in gospel music. I usually can weather most of the storms, but when you have three people leave, and you got a bus in the shop, been in there for over a year, and you got a lawsuit on it, and I don't like suits, it just wasn't good. You know, a lot of stress. And he'll never know what this song meant to me during that period of time. I want you to listen. There's no 
bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Charlie. Ed O'Neill, the Dixie Medal.